Howdy folks. Just uh, going to make a video here about the oil burner there and get a little more details about it. I had a comment asking. I don't have any plans per se for this. It's just, but I give some measurements. You know, you could increase size or decrease really and it would work. So here we go. So here's the top hat. It's just a 100 pound propane cylinder that I have cut up. And it's about 20 inches there from bottom to top. 12 inches of quarter inch thick, six inch round tubing. Nothing to it. Make sure I'm zoomed all the way out here. I'm not, of course. I tell you, since the last software update, this phone has not been the same, and it's just, ugh, I'm just, that's what I'm blaming it on. Things that don't act the same. Okay, so here we go. And, of course, that's where my exhaust is going to fit in, your stovepipe. And, you know, the longer you can get your stovepipe, the better. You want as much updraft as possible. Um, this is naturally, aspir <coughs> naturally aspirated. I don't need any kind of, you know, it's it acts just like a rocket stove pretty much. And that's what it sounds like when it's burning too. So you want plenty of plenty of holes down here for air. I'd say the toughest part about this and the most expensive part for me anyway was just was just putting holes in this. It wasn't really tough, it's just really time consuming. But it's cast and it doesn't it doesn't react the same way with an oxygen acetylene torch you can have you have no problem blasting holes through it but it's time consuming that's for sure so you want as many holes in this as you you know as you can I, I could get more holes in there but what I have going on here works out pretty good before I put these holes in there last year um, it, this thing would really cherry it cherried a lot more I don't know I don't know. I don't know if that's exactly because of the holes or not, but I know the holes have definitely had an effect on it. So, like I said, it's just a, a stainless steel dog dish, 100%. That's all it is. And I think that's the 8 inch or 10 inch dog dish. I'm not for sure, for sure. It's a 10 inch, like 10 inch dog dish. I've got a, a 10 a 10 inch rotor there and you you know you just want your rotor again you could make this tube any size you want this it doesn't have to be a six inch round with a 10 inch rotor it just doesn't you could have a three inch uh, round any appropriate rotor as long as you've got lots and lots of holes you know for air so it can updraft real good it's all you're really after it doesn't have to be this size that's for sure and it doesn't have to be anything complicated I got this I think it's a a gas line for a, a, a stove, I think. I got it from the hardware downtown, and I wanted something stainless steel. The only reason I ran with that pretty much is just because it was stainless steel. Nothing to it. I uh, Now, this is on there, but this is useless. I just leave it open and run my oil from this. This is how I can I can make it drip or flow, all with that. The reservoir, I built the reservoir small, maybe three quarts, something like that. Doesn't hold a lot, three three quarts, right around there. And I built this when I was practicing with the braze and the torch. I built several just for giggles. Welded the handle on, but everything else has been brazed. So the nuts on here. Uh, last year I had a flange, and I, I call it a flange. It's not really a flange, a, a baffle, maybe something. It just it just sat up here above, and it just stopped the heat, deflected it out, and then up. Uh, but it was out of mild steel, and my little legs here, <laughs> this thing gets hot, and it just folded in down in on itself, basically collapsed inside the top hat. So I have not been back to that. I have some stainless steel in the garage and we'll see. I, I just haven't been back to it. I've been busy wood burning and other things. A little bit of welding. So you know there it is. Again it's you can make this 
any, my finger's in the way. You could make this any size you want, pretty much. I, I think this was 16 inches across. And again, 100 pound cylinder. You could use uh, an old air compressor tank. It wouldn't even have to be round. I mean, you, you could build a square box. As long as you got your holes down here, plenty of air, a nice stainless steel pot to burn in, your waste oil, uh, you know, your exhaust, and, and in a house, a body for it all, you're all set. Simple as that, really. I, I mean, it really is. The rebar is welded to this plate and and then welded to the wheel. And that just that's just suspending, you know, it's just suspending the whole apparatus there. I mean, but that's really pretty much it. That is it. This thing will burn hot. Burn as long as you want, as long as you got oil. The exhaust. I've got six, uh, six I've got eight, eight feet of pipe there. Yeah, eight feet of pipe. It's pretty windy today. Sun's shining though. Yeah. Despite what they've been up to, it's still pretty nice. No doubt. I hope everybody's having a great day. There's my four-legged furball friend. And uh, there it is. I'm gonna take a walk up here to the garage right quick and include that wood burning in this video, uh, the final product. Hey, Shadow. <laughs> yeah, just teasing. So, little cooker I built works really, really well. Actually, very, very well. So, where are we at in here? A few wood burning deals. Um, 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 um. Right there it is. So here it is, let me get it out here. Yeah. And there it is. And I know why I was getting zapped. My brush I was holding, you know, uh, mind you, it's not very long. I understand that. But wood is not conductive, not at all. But water is, <laughs> right? Everybody knows that, right? Everybody's like, duh. Yeah, well, I'm dipping that sponge in the water, you know, getting it good and wet, and it's just soaking up through the wooden handle right to where I'm grabbing. It just dawned on me. It clicked yesterday as I was getting zapped. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I get to looking at the handle, and, yeah, you could see the watermarks in the handle. And it just, again, just dawned on me. I was troubleshooting, basically, and you start eliminating variables, and... I'm like, okay, so let's look at the utensil. I'm done, boom, right there. And it was even kind of wet. And um, a viewer had made a comment about all the moisture in the air. I mean, that couldn't be more true as well. Air is a, is a fluid, you know. This is simple as that. I don't know how to, you know, describe that, but air is totally a fluid. I mean, it, it's a force. It's a, air is awesome. Abba Father is awesome. So, anyways, this is what turned out, and I don't have to worry about getting zapped anymore. Again, I figured out what I was doing wrong. Uh, I'm pretty confident in that. So, I had done, I had done this, uh, I, I burnt this on, I burned both sides. I did this a while back and hated it. I don't like this side at all. But I was burning this on a drop cloth, and you can see, you know, I like to run from the one side over so it really starts to dig a big trench and that's what was going on here and I had forgotten that I burned the other side just not thinking about it and I just about set my drop cloth on fire um, it did not set on fire but it melted it together and it basically ruined that drop cloth no no harm no foul I suppose no big deal but I was just like oh you dummy but anyway so there you go that's what it turned out I like doing this. I enjoy casting very much, working with metals. Uh, I pour concrete, but welding is my, I just really like to weld. Welding is awesome. Uh, but I've been pouring concrete for so long and I'm so set and, you know, and this, I, I, I would like to leave and perhaps go to weld, but I have to start all over again financially, everything, like the whole nine yards and I just, so 
concrete affords me good equipment for welding and and it's probably more probably better off that it's a hobby anyways if i had to do it you know i don't know it might change things if i had to do it i don't think it would though i really enjoy welding i don't care i like to i know welding's like 10 percent of it it's prep work like with everything grind cleaning all sorts of jazz cutting but I don't even really feel like work. Um, when I'm at work running a shovel, <laughs> carrying steel forms, that feels like work. And whatever, I don't mind. That's what we're here for. You know, the sweat of our brow. So anyways, I don't know, we're all, yeah, over 10 minutes, another 100 years to upload. So cool, right on folks, take care. Hope everybody's having having a good day. Out the sun's shining, and if it's not out, the sunshine's not tomorrow. Take care.